Able's in on air is sponsored by Green Mountain Support Services, empowering people with disabilities to be home in the community. Washington County Mental Health, where hope and support comes together. Media sponsors for Ableton On Air include Parkchester Times, Muslim Community Report, www.thisisthebronx.info, Associated Press Media Editors, New York Parrot Online Newspaper, U.S. Press Corps, Domestic and International, Anchor FM, and Spotify. Partners with Ableton On Air include Yachad, New York, and New England, where everyone belongs, and the Orthodox Union. Abel Dinonair has been seen in the following publications. Parkchester Times, New York Parrot Online Newspaper, Muslim Community Report, www.thisisthebronx.info, and www.h.com. Hello and welcome to this edition of Able Done On Air, the one and only program that focuses on the needs, concerns, and achievements of the differently able. I've, only, I've always been your host, Lauren Seiler. Arlene is with me today. Say hi, Arlene. This is Arlene Seiler. Okay. Um, on, this, on this edition, um, today we um, speak about... The dozens crushed to death in Israel uh, in, a, in a pilgrimage stampede. Basically, an accident occurred, according to um, news reports, uh, for example, Al Jazeera America, um, and um, out, according to um, Al Jazeera, there was a, a holiday called La Bomer, uh, which is a Jewish holiday, and there was an accident that occurred. Tens of thousands of mainly Orthodox Jews were participating in an annual event for a religious scholar. Um, the stampede of religious uh, festival attended by tens of thousands of ultra-Orthodox Jews yeah. in northern Israel has killed at least... 44 people and injured 150 early last Friday, according to, according, let me finish please, according to medical officials in Israel. Um, uh, uh, Morgan David Alam in Israel, emergency service said that at least 44 people were killed during an early Friday uh, event. Um, uh, thousands are fighting for their lives uh, and dozens wounded uh, and will not give up until the last vi victim was evacuated. Um, so basically that's what happened. And you know this uh, this program is in memory of that. Um, according to Al Jazeera, Zaki Heller, a spokesman for Morgan David Olam Emergency Service, said that among the 150 people who had been hospitalized, six were in critical condition. On social media, Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu called it a heavy disaster and added, we are all praying for the well-being of, of the casualties. Netanyahu <clears throat> arrived on the scene in a stampede on Friday with television images showing the veteran premier touring the site of the incident. The stampede occurred when tens of thousands of mainly Orthodox Jews were participating in an annual pilgrimage for the feast Lag, <coughs> Lag Bomer on Mount Miran, near the, the reputed tomb of Rabbi Shimon Bar Yochi, yeah. a second 
Century Sage. Yeah. Okay. Um, the incident began when large numbers of people trying to exit the site thronged a narrow tunnel-like passage, according to witnesses. People began falling on top of each other near the end of the walkway as they descended uh, a slippery metal staircase, witnesses said. Masses of people pushing into the same corner of a vortex was created. A man identified only by his first name, Devere, told um, Israel Army Radio that he described a terrifying sight. The first row of people fell down, and he said that the next row of people that tripped, um, they, feel, they felt like they were about to die. A video posted on social media um, by Israel Public Broadcasting uh, showed the, the crowd of pilgrims walking down the narrow lane. And basically, they said that a, lost, a large number of them were crushed and lost consciousness. Israeli pub, public media published an image of um, a row of bodies covered in plastic bags on the ground. Um, emergency services deployed six helicopters to evacuate the injured. Some of the injured have been transported by military helicopter to Tel Aviv and Jerusalem, rescue workers had said. Um, basically, uh, everything collapsed, and um, let me... Uh, now, in terms of coronavirus, my opinion, there, well, according to also everybody else's opinion, there was, it was an oversized crowd. Authorities had authorized 10,000 people to gather at the site, but the two organizers said that there was um, 650 buses that have been chartered from across the country of Israel, bringing at least 30,000 pilgrims, pilgrims to Mount Miron. Al Jazeera's Harry Fawcett um, was reporting and said that um, there had been a crowd of more than 100,000. There is no question of the enormous number of people significant of this significant religious event, um, which, has, which has presented a problem due to COVID-19 risks. Um, Witnesses said they realized people have been asphyxiated and trampled on, which an organizer was appalled by the loud hailer for the for the for them to disperse. Um, and you know they had bonfires and all that other thing. Now. Here's the thing, private bomb, private bonfires at Mount Miron were banned last year due to coronavirus restrictions, but lockdown measures were eased this year among Israel's rapid COVID-19 vaccination program that has been more than 54% of the population fully vaccinated. Um, which brings us to this, what is thousands of people doing an, an event, it's too overly populated. Do you have anything you want to say about that? I would say yes, we could have been Huh? Four Americans are being killed. Yeah, four. They keep them from Birkenfield, New Jersey, horrible. I, I, I feel terrible, you know, there's no shit to... Yeah, um... <laughs> Separate the men from the women. 
we all won't be so much. And then they can control instead of up there. Yeah, according to the New York Post, New Jersey teen Donnie Morris identified. Um, yeah. New Jersey teen Donnie Morris identified among Americans killed in Israel stampede. Um, a New Jersey teenager has been identified, according to New York Post, a New Jersey um, teenager has been identified of one of six Americans and four New York metro, uh, uh, metropolitan area residents killed in the deadly stampede at a religious festival in Israel last week. Yeah, horrible. I, I send my, my condolences to the families that lost their, you know, loved ones. Donnie Morris, 19, was in Israel studying when he was caught in a, in a crush of people during the annual Lagbo Mare Festival on Mount Miron last Thursday. Among the 45 dead to have been killed in, in a tragedy... Uh, NBC News reports last Sunday. Three other residents, um, I'm going to try to pronounce these names. Three other, three, three other, can I finish please? Yes. Three other, okay, three other, New York area residents, uh, uh, Mitch, uh, uh, Manich- uh, I'm trying to pronounce his name, uh, Manicham uh, Nabowitz of Borough Park, Yosef, Yosef Abram of Muncie, and Eliza Joseph of, uh, of Kairos Joel were identified as victims of the horrific Human avalanche, according to reports. I'm going to repeat those names again. Uh, Menachem uh, Kolobowitz of Borough Park, Yosef yeah. Abram of Muncie, and Eliza Joseph of, of Karras Joel were identified as victims of the horrific human avalanche, according to reports. There are four, there are four families that are in the New York area th- that were in touch with um, the consulate in New York, helping helping them, uh, and Israel's Ministry of Foreign Affairs told, um, told journalists. Um, Two other families from Canada and one from Argentina were also in touch with the families. Authorities said that they are still working to determine if other Americans were killed. In addition to the dead, to the deceased, there are more than 100 people injured in last Friday's festival, which draws tens of thousands of people, primarily Orthodox Jews, every year to the tomb of Rabbi Shimon Bar uh, uh, Yochi, a reverend ancient Jewish mystic. Um, Israel's health ministry said that 32 of the dead have been, been identified by late Friday and the Jewish Sabbath halted process, process of funerals until Sunday. Um, Commander Shimon Levy of a police official in charge of security arrangements for this year's festival said Friday that he took overall responsibility for the tragedy. According to reports, police briefly blocked a stairway at the bottom of the passageway where festival goers sought to flee. Um, it also says that the stampede took place 
after a grandstand of the foot of Mount Meron collapsed, prompting hundreds to flee to safety, and many more got trampled. On Saturday, dozens of Israelis, many furious over the tragedy, held a silent fury vigil outside Prime Minister Netanyahu's um, a, um, house. So, you know, this is absolutely ridiculous. Uh, the health ministry should have, or Israel should have been more prepared for this. It was entirely, entirely too many people um, on this walkway that collapsed. Um, you know, there's been many other tragedies um, in 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 the past. Um, I'll give you a prime example. I know that it has nothing to do with Israel, but if you if you remember the uh, if you remember if you remember the mo the movie uh, Selena with um, Jennifer Lopez, one of the scenes in the movie uh, Selena was at a concert yeah. in Mexico. Too many people. Okay, and people got trampled by the stage, and yeah. brought and brought the stage down. When you have too many people in a crowd for any festival, you you gotta have three things: better security, um, better ways of controlling the crowd, and then you also have to have. Um, things in place so nobody gets trampled. Many concerts, people die, pass away. Many, um, you know, trampling on somebody is, is not, a, it shouldn't be a human sacrifice, yeah. you know? Um, so... Okay, good news for a change. Huh? Broadway is set to return September 14th of this year. Yeah, uh, as far as as far as coronavirus, there are a lot of things that are going to be happening. Uh, stadiums are going to be opening. Baseball games are going to be happening. Um, broad Broadway, it, uh, is Broadway going to be a hundred percent capacity soon or no? I think so. September fourteenth, twenty twenty one. Yeah. So Broadway's going to return. A lot of things are going to happen. Um, so, so let's um, go to another topic. Um, Vermont and COVID-19 as it stands now. Okay, so so now, uh, from according to the VT Digger, Vermont ranks first nationally in COVID nineteen vaccination rate as of May third, twenty twenty one. Um, let's. Go here. Okay. So uh, now about 340,000 residents or 62% of the population has received at least one dose of the vaccine according to last week's data from the Vermont Department of Health. About 44% of Vermonters have received both doses, the state including us. The state overtook Connecticut for first place in the U.S. within the past week. Um, Governor Phil Scott herald, heralded uh, the announcement. Um, let's go back here. Uh, hold on one second. 
I need to go back to that. Um, Governor Scott heralded um, on Twitter on Monday, we have been, and Vermont has been a national leader throughout the pandemic, and it's up to all to finish strong. He said, urging Vermonters to sign up and, and get the shot. About 15% of people don't want to get the shot for some reason, I guess because of more medical things. The ranking is based on total doses administered, first and second shot. By that count, Vermont has offered 580,000 580, shots since December at a rate of 93,100 per 100,000 people, according to the CDC. Meanwhile, <clears throat> supply appears to have been outstripped demand. Many of the state's site Sites have been open, slots, and inoculation rates have slowed. The state has opened up a vaccination to part-time residents, including college students from, uh, from other states and people who work in Vermont yeah. and live across the border. The v Vermont Department of Health will now have to focus its efforts on reaching people hesitant to get the vaccine or who face barriers in getting the dose, such as Vermonters experiencing homelessness or those in the Northeast Kingdom that have been lower. Infection rates have plummeted in Vermont down from 39% from April 1st. Commissioner of the Financial Regulation had said last week, um, Deaths and hospitalizations related to the virus have declined. So um, that's a good thing. That, um, but there, there's still a lot of people that have um, or don't want the shot that can't get it or something. So anything you want to say about that? Well, I think everybody should get the shot because, you know. Yeah, it's mo it's it mo it's very important to get the shot. Um, last thing before we end, please, um, if you find it, call the um, go to the Depart Department of Health uh, for the COVID vaccine shot. Let me look up the number. I got it. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on, hold on. I'm hold on. I will I will get it. COVID. Vermont Department of Health. That's all you have to call. Vermont Department Health Number. Okay. Here's the, the situation. Um, people 16 and older can make appointments now. Part-time Vermont residents, including college students who are eligible to get vaccinated, um, find testing locations throughout Vermont, and you are allowed to do social gatherings and uh, at a private residence and at a venue. Uh, unvaccinated Vermonters who travel outside the state must be tested within three days of returning to Vermont. And um, people at higher risk should, um, should be careful. For more information on the COVID vaccine registration, it's 1-855-722-722. 7878. That number, once again, is 1-855-722-7878. COVID-19 questions, uh, they, they need to ask you questions, is 802-863-7240. That number again, 802-863-7240. The toll-free number 
is 1-833-722-0860. And um, if you're deaf or hard of hearing, I guess you can get another number or dial. If you're deaf or hard of hearing and need a TTY, um, you can dial 711 for that. Okay, and if you have any problems with the COVID vaccine, you can dial 211, Vermont 211. Um, and you can find this at the public, you can find this at the public communications office at vermont.gov and also at www.healthvermont.gov. Again, www.healthvermont.gov forward slash COVID-19. That's C-O-V-I-D um, dash 19. Again, quickly, those numbers for the COVID vaccine registration, one 722 7878 The COVID-19 questions, in other words, have you been outside the state, etc.? cetera, uh, you can answer those questions at 802-863-7240 or 1-833-722-0860. Um, uh, and also you can find this at the ACS um, Public Communications Office at Vermont dot gov or www.healthvermont.gov forward slash COVID-19. Um, again, this program today was mainly in memory of uh, the people of Israel uh, who had passed away from that Lag Bomer event um, in memory to them, um, or as we say in Jewish, Baruch Dynamis, um, and um, this puts an end to this edition of Able Than On Air. Please, if you have not done, be, if you have not done it already, please go get your shot. Uh, and Able Than On Air is sponsored by Washington County Mental Health, Green Mountain Support Services, and many others who support our program. See you next time. I am Lauren Seiler. See you next time. Ableton On Air is sponsored by Green Mountain Support Services, empowering people with disabilities to be home in the community. Washington County Mental Health where hope and support comes together. Media sponsors for Ableton On Air include Parkchester Times, Muslim Community Report, www.thisisthebronx.info, Associated Press Media Editors, New York Parrot Online Newspaper, U.S. Press Corps, Domestic and International, Anchor FM, and Spotify. Partners with Ableton On Air include Yachad New York and New England, where everyone belongs, and the Orthodox Union. Ableton On Air has been seen in the following publications. Parkchester Times, New York Parrot Online Newspaper, Muslim Community Report, www.thisisthebronx.info, and www.h.com